and Miss World 2000 is Miss India. While the West has turned its back on Miss World, India has excelled. In the last seven years, Miss India contestants have won six of the world's top beauty titles. These new jewels in the crown have been selected from 3,000 hopefuls across India. One of them will become a woman in a billion and take the Miss India title. On stage, Medha walks like a beauty queen, but what she says behind the scenes is a very different story. I am a person who is painfully truthful. I cannot say, oh yeah, okay, how are you? Yeah, I'm so good, I love you. And inside say, oh, do I hate you or do I hate you? I cannot do that. Sonal's pictures suck. I don't know, they just raped that girl's face. Just a man. Mm -hmm. Droopy everything. Okay, droopy eyebrows, droopy eyes. I hate that babe. God is Sam. Oh, I'm so good for this crowd. What am I doing here? If they have a title for the biggest, that goes to me. <laughs> biggest is down. Downtown Mumbai, the five-star Meridian Hotel, home for the next 40 days to the highest concentration of beautiful women in the world. It looks like a luxury hotel. In reality, it's a production line, a boot camp factory for making beautiful women perfect. The camp is the brainchild of India's glossy women's magazine, Femina. The beauty business is big business. Beauty queens are not born, they're made. And India has made more than anyone else. For a country like India, because it's a very new, uh, new feeling to have winners, a new feeling of pride of our, in our women, it's still big. Maybe 20 years down the line, we'll have had so many winners, we won't be interested in anymore. But right now, it's giving all of us a sense of pride. It's giving all of us a sense of belonging in an international society, that we are on par, we are good. And today, people are saying, hey, some of the most beautiful women come from India. Medha is a well-established model from southern India. She's 20. She's absolutely Western in her outlook and believes she's got what the judges are looking for. They want somebody who's uh, very poised, very stylish, very polite, humble, mm, sexy. Mm, got to be a bit of everything, you know. And whatever you do, you got to be good at it. So that's what they want. And I think I can live up to that image. In the next 40 days, the 26 finalists will be pushed to their limits and beyond by India's most demanding trainers. In previous years, the appearance of semi-naked women in beauty pageants has provoked riots in India. But the disapproval of die-hard traditionalists isn't going to stop the beauty machine. Morning call at 5.30, curfew at 10 o'clock, no food outside the diet regime, no alcohol, no smoking in public. Every move is watched. You know I'm not that during the camp, the way the girls look, speak, think, and even move will be scrutinized and corrected. This will be a life-changing experience. Rubbish, where's the expression? That's not an expression. It's like when you walk into a room, you have to create your presence in an environment which is like God knows how many people from different segments of society. If you can walk into a room holding your own and have heads turned to look at you, you've achieved. So I think that's what they're really looking at, the confidence that comes with the walk. Indian women in the past used to walk five steps behind the man, or they were made to look down while walking. Because they were so shy, they used to slouch. I have to break that myth. I have to tell them, stand tall, look at people, look into their eyes. 
Be sexy. Give me attitude. Presence and poise on the catwalk are second nature to Meda. Lubna liked my walk today. I just walked once and she was like, very nice, very nice. So that gave me major high. So null. She's a very good friend of mine. She's my best friend here. She's very jerky when she walks. I've told her like a million times, you gotta take the rhythm, you gotta be graceful, but I don't know, it's not happening with Sona. I've taught her like so many times, it's not funny. And Sona's expression keeps shifting. You know, she'll enter with a smile, she'll do that, and then she'll go like that, and then she'll go there again, and again like that. So, the shift of expressions looks like nervousness on stage. You, you keep changing your mouth, and your eyes are very nervous. They're looking, 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 shaking, moving, moving. Sonal, 20, from Mumbai, is a hot favorite for Miss India, but inexperienced. I've never been on stage in front of, like, a live audience, you know. So it's going to be a little tough for me, but uh, considering that it's going to take me, like, I don't know where, and it's going to put me in seven heavens, I think that will actually um, just, I mean, just help me not to get nervous, or probably because I know this title to me is very, very, very important. Because for as long as I remember, I've always dreamt of winning this title. And the spectacular success of past Miss India's shows it's a dream that can come true. Do you feel like extra pressure when you came here this week, knowing that, you know, wow, Miss India won last year, you know, I'm going to be compared. Was there pressure? There's always been pressure, but I work best under pressure. And if there's no pressure, there won't be any expectation. And without expectation, they won't, I won't strive for enthusiasm. Each and every one of you has a certain magic. Everyone has it. Everyone's born with it. So I want you to explore that. I want you to go within yourself and get that out. Everyone has it. Every single person. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Sonal from Mumbai. The reason why I'm here is because I believe in myself. And I consider Miss India to be such a prestigious title. It gives you an opportunity to, uh, no, sorry, sorry. Why are you mumbling? Why are you sort of forgetting what you're going to say? No. Sh I want you to be dead sure of what you're saying. Start again. Start again and no sort of speaking to them and say, oh, what did I forget? No. It's within, you're all alone there. You're an island right there. Miss India being such a prestigious item opens the doors to various opportunities in life. We have to make, make it appear as if the girl is, is not appearing contrived, practiced, re absolutely rehearsed, and which is one of the things I teach them, that when the question is posed to you, don't answer it, pat fashion, like saying, of course, that's what I meant. No, think about it uh, as if the judge has asked you a very intelligent, thought-provoking question, which it is. So take your time, think about it, and say, well, even if you know the question, think and appear as if you don't, and then say, well, that's what I feel. A touching animated film when innocent. Tell Miss India contest would give me a platform to prove myself and to voice my opinions and gather public support. I want you to use your eyes. I want you. I want you to to feel what you're saying, not just say and then leave it. I'm a person who believes in offering a smile to all. I have to have that inner magic starting this moment. Every, every moment when you get up in the morning and say, I believe in myself, I believe in myself, and I know I'm good. I know and I'm going to get there by God. <laughs> Under the eye of the trainers, the transformation continues. But as the days pass, the girls come to resemble a more Western stereotype of beauty. And they're careful to protect their skins from getting any darker. I hate the tan. Oh, please, I'm already brown. You're trying to look fair and you're trying to make me dark. No way. I don't want to look black. Any darker and I'll be black. And everybody says, when the child is born, oh, is he fair? Oh, is she fair? I just don't want a dusky child. I mean, a dusky child could be fabulous, but hey, we don't want it. I don't know why. Oh, oh, gori hai, gori hai, gori means, oh, she's fair. Madam ke jaisi, madam means, looks like a madam. <laughs> so, 
I think that's fantastic. And I said, good goodness me. I said, this child has is, is got fabulous features. Why don't you look at the features? She could be unbelievably beautiful. Why do you want a fair, fat child rather than have a slim, dark beauty? No, they'd rather have the fair, fat one any day. But in the beauty business, there's no room for excess. Up to the minute technology is used to scan the girls for body fat, every surplus ounce must go. Meda. Classic Indian woman's figure is hourglass shaped, a big bust. Not a very a slim waist, but in comparison to the bust, quite a slender waist and a big body. Most designers, I've spoken to so many of them, and they say that a model should not have curves. A model should have a very prominent collarbone and shoulders. The rest should be just flat. It should be like a hanger. 62 and a half. I have a problem. I mean, I'm a bit too flabby on my thighs. I need to like run and do a lot of weights to even uh, turn that fat into muscles. And my stomach, I have a little bit of a paunch. That's it. I need to get rid of that. And fat's not the only problem. There's hair as well. I'm very hairy here, this section. I mean, just, you know, just below my neck. And then otherwise it decreases gradually you know, as it goes lower. I do a lot of threading, but I don't touch my facial hair. I ble I rather bleach it in once in six months. That's what I do, not too often. I do thread my eyebrows. I do thread my, you know, my upper lip, but um, not my face. I, Sonal, love myself. Okay, great. I don't think I even need this mirror. <laughs> you do, because you're... It's camp psychologist Namit Kapoor's job to push them into seeing beyond their imperfections. I, Neha, love myself. That's it. Great, Neha. Chiku. Chiku. Yeah. So I, Chiku. Yeah. What? Love myself. Say it. Love myself. Look at it. Uh, I just love myself. Okay. <laughs> so why we did what we did? Any, anyone knows? You, you, we make you, you, you happy, comfortable, to open up, shed your inhibitions, okay, fantastic. So all I'm saying is, when your senses are alive, so are you, and when you are turned up, you fire up your audience, isn't it? And you are going to be idiotic for one full minute, in front of everyone. Okay, now, your time starts now. Namit Kapoor wants the girls to make fools of themselves in a safe environment so that later in front of the cameras they'll have no fear. Medas first. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, Sonal, your time starts now. We do. Yeah! Yeah! The emotional demands of the camp are really getting to Sonal. What? Her boyfriend gets the brunt of it. I'm busy. No, I'm busy in the morning. I've shootings all day. I cannot see anybody. We just cannot stay without each other. We might just fight over like an hour or something. That's the maximum we fight. And then we get back to normal. I might call him back and fight with him for the next two, three hours, but we are in constant touch. We might not make up, but we do call back and then, you know, have another argument. Then I'll bang the phone down, he'll bang the phone. Again, I'll call back or he'll call back. So it continues. The fight continues for the next three, four hours, probably the whole day. But it's not that we just hang up and not call till like the next morning or something. It's never been like this. Meda's boyfriend is also feeling the heat. This is last night. Baby, I went mad. I tore up my records, broke some CDs and sat on the floor crying. I lost myself. Please don't ever do that to me again. I love you too much. This is after we made up, you know? I don't even know what I said. <laughs> But if the pressure seems bad now, it's nothing to what's in store. When he finally meets the woman of his dreams.
India is a deeply religious country. For the 26 finalists in the Miss India training camp, meditation and spiritual life is central to the regime. Ria wanted us to just chant Om, because O, M, Ma, that's what she said, O vibrates here, M vibrates here, and Ma vibrates in your ribcage. The vibrations send out good feelings. They just send out the bad vibes and take in the good vibes. But not all the contestants share the same religion. Gohar is alone in being a devout Muslim. Over here, the question of religion, caste doesn't arise because all of us over here are on one platform. And uh, there are people from different religions over here, not only Islam and, you know, there are, there are Christians, there are Jews. And that's very great because all of us are coming together as Indians. The very fact remains that I'm an Indian. But just being Indian doesn't make it easy to live together. You know what happened in the art of living class? The word Om does not belong to any one religion. Okay, Om just means peace. Okay, it is not Hinduism, it's not Buddhism, it's not Jainism, it's not Christianity, it's not Muslim, anything. It's just a word. This girl said, I cannot say Om. I'm not comfortable. It's not in the Muslim book, of Qur in the holy book of Quran. I mean, I'm a typical Islamic girl. I mean, if anyone sits and asks me about Islam, I'll go like ta 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 on it. But uh, this is my job. I've been doing this for some time now. I've been modeling for uh, a few years. They are very aware of themselves. They are very aware of their sexuality in a nice way. They're not, they're not as Western as maybe some parts of the Western world where they may wear the skimpiest of clothes on the street and, you know, it, they're not like that. They're still conservative, but they are aware of themselves and because they are aware of themselves, they know how to interact with men. There's definitely a kind of an eye contact being established today. And I'm just trying to bring that out onto stage where you don't really have to be sexy to one person but it's an impression you give which makes a difference from just a flat smile which says nothing. Hi everyone, I'm Neha. Look at the nervousness on some of you. Look at the eyes. Where are the eyes when you're walking? I'm here to carve a niche for myself. And with God's blessing, I shall succeed. Where are the eyes when you're talking? All that, as I keep repeating, you are a package. A package has to be perfect. Every look, every step is analysed and picked over. But this is exactly how they'll be seen by millions. They'll never be the slouching. I'll make the most of today. They'll never Hold your glance. I'll make the most of And myself. use your mouth Thank right. You. It's too fidgety. Hello, everybody. This is Sonam from Mumbai. See your right hand. See your left hand. See the way it is sitting on your waist. See the shoulders. There's no arch, it's totally slouched, your stomach is collapsing. Way through the training. Camp psychologist Namit Kapoor asked the girls to think themselves back to a childhood state of innocence, a place where no self-doubt exists. Instructions, very clear. Remove all the chairs. You'll sit down on the ground. I'll ask you, how old are you? You should be less than five. You say, four years, three years, two years. Take your name. Meda. Meda. And how old are you, Meda? Two and a half. Two and a half. Okay, how old are you? Three years. Uh, what's your name? My name is Sonal. There is going to be a time, I'm going to repeat, uh, the, when, just listen to me, when you will think, what is the point anyway? 
that's when your uh, you know logical mind is uh, really uh, okay demotivating you continue that's your breaking point then you'll discover so much <laughs> you are always spontaneous very energetic very enthusiastic very curious your joy your mischievous your imaginative you're lovable likable just tell yourself this is the way i intend to be deep down beneath i'm going to be a child cool of your life there are girls who i hated all through the training i don't want to say hated i was in friendly with all through the training they're extra sweet to me now and everybody wants to make friends like I'll tell you later. No, no, it's coming up. Like Gohar and Jasramin. I've never had a conversation with them before. And they're suddenly extra sweet to me. They're like, you know, we can actually hold a conversation. And today Jasramin was like, can you click a picture for me? And I actually was clicking pictures for her. She's like, thank you, darling, and all that stuff. And all my friends, Sonal and everybody, they were like, when did you become Jasramin's darling? I'm like, just chill, kind of a thing. <laughs> After the bonding session, they discover they've got more in common than they thought. And just for one night, camp rules have been relaxed. Meda and the girls have been allowed out for a night on the town. For the first time in weeks, the girls get a chance to let their hair down and end the pretense of being the perfect package. There are girls here who have their boyfriends coming and meeting them every evening. And they go like, I've never kissed a guy in my life. Yeah, yeah, I'm single. The only thing on my mind is modeling. My competition is the most, utmost important thing in my life. There's no time in my life for men. I don't know why they do it. It's very stupid. If you have a boyfriend, say it. It's not a crime to have a boyfriend. Or if you smoke, say it. It's not a crime to do so. Get on the floor. Just sexy dancer. Dancer, 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 Back at the hotel, the party goes on. But Sonal's having a hard time explaining her night on the town to her boyfriend. It must have been Stop it. love. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yes, sir. It, it must, must have been, been love. But, but you lost it somehow. Yeah. It's now very irritated, very pissed off, and I can kill anybody right now, I swear to God. And what are you saying? Um, I'm, I believe in a woman being a virgin. You guys have been talking about all this time. We all have different conceptions. That's true. So why See, my boyfriend is not a virgin. Yeah. I know that he's Look openly come and told me that he made love to his previous girlfriend. So what do you become? I really believe if a man loves me enough, he loves me. He'll accept you the way I am. Exactly. Well. He'll accept me the way I am. This does not mean that, okay, if I'm a virgin, I'm more acceptable. Bullshit. If I'm a virgin who's a dumbass, do you think he's going to accept me? Bullshit. No, I'm sorry. What if you want to get into a family who's conservative? Then what Why about that? And you love that man. Then what? Sorry, Come on, give me a break. Which man today hello. comes across to a woman and says, yeah, I, Are you a virgin? Oh, I'm in love with you. If you're talking about a typical Indian man, you have to come in terms with reality. He the woman not has to accept yeah. you. The woman he, has he will to be more you. docile. When That's you're his it. girlfriend, phone, phone, when you his phone. girlfriend, he will love you the way you are. Hey, Krishna, Whether you're a virgin or not, that's besides the point. My when phone. it comes to marriage, Yes. He will not accept a thing from your past. If he has anything yes, about your I past... Yes, I agree with that. And that's exactly what I Your love goes. But there's only one and question I have to ask. Are you telling me this, that all men are virgins? Exactly. If, if all men are not virgin, then why the hell should they ask the women for a virginity? <laughs> I think that sucks. I'm sorry, that sucks. It, look, it's like a give and take, right? You be a virgin, I'm a virgin. Wow. But I'm sorry. In India, it used to happen a long, long time back. Listen, listen, now it doesn't happen. Control, control, control. Not all women... Shut sorry, shut up. Not all men are virgins in India. Okay, shut up. Which I don't agree with. Okay, shut up. Nice girl, shut up. What? I'm serious. Nice girl, shut up. No, I girl, shut up. Girl, shut up. Nice girl, shut up. Nice girl, shut up. Okay. I'm sorry, I believe in this. There's no network in the phone. <laughs>
while Meda and the girls sleep in after the party, Neha is working out exactly what she will have to do to win the crown. Neha is determined to follow the camp regime to the letter. As compared to the other girls, my system has got no toxins set in and there's no smoking, no drinking. So they tell me to get up at 6, I'm up and ready at 6. I have never complained even once. Eventually, there are just going to be three girls winning, and we all have to come and face the reality. We all know that, you know, it, this is life. It's, it's, not, it's not a fairy tale. It's meant to be true. Get into the movies. Get into Cinemax. The most exciting movie channel for hits, action, and suspense. Thursday on Star World. <laughs> Today is the last day of training. The transformation from pretty girl to potential beauty queen almost complete. 40 days is a long period, but it's just flown by. My friends, whom I've not spoken to, they're like, wow, your English has improved, your, your pronunciation, your diction's improved so much more. Over a period of time, you will see the change coming out in these girls. The girls who were scared to look at you in the eye can today stand and just stare you out. And you'd wonder, you know, what are they so confident about? And it's all really about feeling good about yourself. Some kind of maturity has come my way. I'm more elegant and, I mean, learned and stuff like that. The cycle to me is very, very, very important. And if anything goes wrong, God forbid, I'll be shattered. I don't want anyone to tell me that I'm beautiful. That's not, that's not why I'm here. What I'm looking at today is to be an achiever. And by winning this competition, I can call myself one. We've always had very beautiful women. Indian women have always been beautiful. There's never been a dearth of beauty. But they haven't had the grooming. I think they come to us as, um, say, 40%, and I think 60% has been pumped into them. They change the way they stand, the way they connect. Their hair is groomed, their teeth, their skin, their confidence, their speech, their clothes, their makeup, their nails, I mean, everything. Plus the glow which, which they get from within. One thing I say, think beautiful. Let it emanate, let it just come out from you. And let that magic, that star quality, get across. Your attention please, Indian Airlines the The finals of Miss India will be held in Hyderabad. Together, the girls have been through a lot. From this point on, they're competing head to head. Meda wonders if newborn friendships will survive. I guess all the niceness is going to be there for some time, but as the contest comes closer, it's all going to go away. But I know that the five, six of us who are good friends, I don't think we'll turn against each other. We'll be the ones holding hands and be like, hey, do well, man. Hyderabad is a 400-year-old Muslim city. According to legend, it was founded when a Muslim prince plucked an unknown village girl from obscurity and made her his queen. Now history is about to repeat itself, though unlike Mumbai, this isn't a place where women can run skimpily dressed in the streets. On the outskirts, final preparations are underway for what promises to be a massive event. In the rehearsal, Neha is directed to the front, alone. Now, Neha starts ramping from her position, which is that. Right. Neha has been getting a little more importance in the choreography than any of us. That is, in every round, she walks solo. And either she starts or finishes a sequence. And that obviously makes an impact with the judges if you're going to see a person separately. And when Neha is walking solo every round, you have girls who are walking in fours and fives and sevens. It's not fair to everybody. Medha's not the only one who's upset. Sonal's also feeling bitter. I don't know. I feel a lot of competition right now. I mean, what I used to feel like just day before yesterday, everyone was so friendly and things are going fine. And this contest has a lot of things to it. It also depends on how many contacts you have, and it's a all part of the game, I'm telling you. But I know Neha stands, everybody knows Neha stands a good chance. 
she can win it. And if she wins it, I won't be surprised. But Neha isn't interested. She's completely focused on the competition. The fact that I feel that the stage is a very comfortable place because I've been there before and I know that my level of comfort on the stage is going to be much more. My sense of performance is going to be uh, more aware and uh, just this level of comfort and awareness that makes me feel like, okay, I might be able to achieve something. Apart from that, it's going to be about the questions and stuff and I have no idea. There are lots of girls who prepared a lot of questions and answers and stuff, but you really can't tell, even if you prepare a thousand questions and if you get 1,001, question number 1,001, who knows? So. Okay, Miss India. So often, the question and answer sessions turn out to be the make or break of the competition. Who do you consider to be the most successful woman living in the world today and why? <laughs> well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There are a lot of people who I admire and believe in, but I think one of the most successful women who have achieved a lot, not just for herself or other countries, I think would be Mother Teresa. The contestants get one last rehearsal at handling an awkward question. Meda, if you discover that the man you love is a criminal, what would you do and why? Good evening, ma'am. If I discover that the man I love is a criminal, I don't think it would make any difference to the amount I would love him, because... Love is blind. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know, all of you girls are fools. You discover the man is a criminal, for all you know, he's raping 20 other women or he's murdering people down the throat. Now it's Sonal's turn to deal with a difficult question. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Yanda. I uh, totally agree with the concept of a single parenthood because after all, um, our parents are the ones who have uh, brought us up and that's why we achieve success and... Um, so and did you understand the question? Single parenthood. One, it means being one brought one up with parent. one parent. I know. Okay. Sonal, I'll wait forever. I want an answer now. It's, it's a tough job. It's tough. Judges. Above all, physical fine, mental stress is so much. One damn contest and so many tensions. Okay, baby, no. just finish your phone call. Do you what have to start now and when? Not who's winning, yeah. God. If I don't make it, I'm lost. I mean, what am I modeling for the past five years for if I don't make it here? I have to prove myself. And I actually was talking to Thun before I left and I said, I'm going to quit modeling if I don't win. And Thun was like, you will not do any such thing. I love to see you on ramp. And if you're going to quit ramp and if you're going to quit modeling, Meeta, you're going to like hurt me. And he was trying to like get, get, knock some sense into my head. I'm not nervous, but I will be shattered if I don't make it. Yeah, it's a bad thought. And... I have a lot of people expecting this out of me. And not being able to live up to other people's expectations or your own is... Then you're, in one simple word, called a loser. And that's something I never want to be. Never, ever. If I love myself. Behind closed doors, the most controversial part of the competition takes place. I love myself. Before the public televised event, the girls parade in swimwear. They must show off their physical assets, but only the privileged few will get to see them. Neha's first to face the judges' scrutiny. You just take the hand behind me, yeah, yours. Yeah. Judges from the world of fashion, cosmetics, and the media assess their bodies, their hair, smiles, poise, confidence, and ask the dreaded questions. You like being here, you like the training session. Yes, of course, I really love training. You just got to learn so much here. Okay, just, it was 45 days of correction. It was great. Sonal's next on the rack. Sonal, judges, is ambitious and very determined and is turned on by guys with good looks and great bodies. 
well. If I love myself, I love you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Mena is a people's person and loves to party. She's a non-conformist and has the ability to talk her way out of any sticky situation. Something you don't like to see. Sorry? Yeah, I'm, I'm just taking it as a comment. No point getting worked up. No point getting worked up. Leave in destiny, but the first to happen, it will. Okay, did anybody ask you this question of uh, what would you do if you become a Miss World of the Universe? Oh, In the toilets, the first of many post mortems unfolds. Meda's sure she got through okay. I said whatever happens, India should stick to its peaceful um, ways of getting getting the message across because if we are going to get into war, we are going to be no different from Pakistan and war is not an answer to anything. It just leads to more killing and more bloodshed. Sono surprised herself. I like me. You don't have to talk so much. I mean, I, I was not only answering their questions, I was actually conversing. Sorry, you know, I had a blast. Mm -hmm. He's like, yes, fine, I know. Just hope I do This is something I waited for for very long. I guess it's a long time. It's almost a lifetime. You're cordially invited for a very special wedding. The bride, beautiful Rani. The groom, handsome Samir. Or hip and happening Sunny. Sunny, Sunny, huh? Hey, Johnny. A flower for a beautiful lady. <laughs> Thank Sunny. you. Pleasure. The only thing Drop in their way mind. is. Oh, oh. 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 So, who is she really in love with? Priyanka oh. Chopra, Akshay Kumar, and Salman Khan. Find out in Mutse Shadi Karogi this December. To subscribe to Astro Box Office Movies, call... Ooh, what will happen next? Hey, Wednesday on Star World. The day of the Miss India Finals dawns. In the next few hours, this arena will be the focus of one of the world's biggest television events. Meda is as ready as she'll ever be. I'm feeling very, very relaxed and calm and it's very funny, you know, I mean, about 10 days ago, I, I had this very funny mixed feeling that, you know, if I don't get it, what am I going to do? Or I have to make it and all those kind of things. Now I've, I've just gotten to the stage of acceptance where I believe that if things have to happen to me, they are going to. If it's not destined to be, it's not going to happen. Now the final touches, pinching out facial hair, the first layers of makeup. But Sornal is still anxious about how she'll come across. I'm just a bit too scared. I mean, scared as in I'm not, it's not fear, it's some kind of a feeling that I get. But will I be able to answer the question? Will I frame it properly? You know, because I know what I want to say is all you. Neha, competing comes naturally. I'm really not nervous because being nervous is just going to ruin everything. It's not going to make anything better. What I need right now is my peace of mind. What I need right now is to stay in control. And just the way I'm talking to you, it's going to be the same kind of conversation. And you're not making me nervous. I'm sure they're not going to be making me nervous either. I make sure I make them nervous. <laughs> There are girls who are sitting and crying right now because they're nervous. They're just sitting and staring in the space and you'll find tears just rolling down their cheeks. And I'm very surprised. Hey, come on, after all, at the end of the day, it's another competition. Femina boss Satya Saran has seen it all before. We've had years where favorites have fallen. In round two, somebody gets out and, and we're looking in horror to say what happened. Why did she go out? And we have no answers. It's because of whatever. It's the insecurity in the girl which finally she succumbs to. Maybe she's not well on that day. Pressure gets to her. There are some lovely girls who don't show fire. 
and therefore lose out. And there's someone who you never looked at seriously, who comes and blazes on the ramp, you know, who, who, who gives the judges back, you know, as good as she gets from them. She literally, you know, volleys back questions with such aplomb that you cannot but say, hey, here's a winner. Television cameras relay the scene to a billion viewers. In the next few hours, Miss India will be chosen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And it is truly great to be back after a whole year with some more excitement and enchantment in the form of far femina Miss India. Judges from India's and the world's fashion elite will pick out the weakest challengers and eliminate them in successive rounds. But first, all 26 contestants are allowed their moment of glory with a personal introduction. Contestant number six, Sonal. Well, Sonal is friendly and witty and found very early success in modeling and has also acted in several music videos. So let's hear it for contestant number six, Sonal. Contestant number seven, Medha. She is a model and a television hostess. Now she's a non-conformist and has the ability to walk out of any sticky situation. Contestant number 23, Neha. Having made a success of modeling and music video features, she's also starred in an indoor Japanese movie. Oh, very good. The judging is swift and brutal. The results are in for the 13 survivors of the first round. So ladies and gentlemen, get set to know the 13 selected contestants as they stash it down the ramp for the first time. Contestant number three, Tina. Contestant number six, Sonal. Contestant number 12, Zainab. Contestant number seven, Medha. Contestant number 23, Neha. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our 13 finalists got dragged. Aren't they absolutely stunning and lovely? Yes, absolutely. And what confidence, ladies. Backstage, panic reigns over costume changes. Out in front of the lights again, Meda and Sonal are selected to open the next round. Now the 13 will be cut down to nine. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts because right now the first contestant who is going to make it to the next round is contestant number three, Tina. Contestant number 12, Zenob. Contestant number 18, Ankita. Contestant number 25, Reshmi. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 23, Neha. Neha has sailed through the round, but Sonal and Meda are out. nowhere to be found. Sonal feels cheated. I think I deserve to be there. I think I deserved it. Now, I mean, that, in my own eyes, I'm there in the first night. This is not fair. I mean, I deserved it. I had to be there. This is a matter of life and death. Okay, moving on, we have the very lovely Neha, contestant number 23. Well, Neha, we don't have too many... They're down to the last nine. Now, everything hinges on the question and answer session. What do you think is the biggest misconception people abroad make about India? 
and how would you go about working to change that misconception? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. According to me, the biggest misconception that people abroad face is the problem that we are an overpopulated country. That is true to an extent, but we also have to realize the number of people, those many number of minds, and the number of minds, that much amount of progression in our country. Thank you. Well, very well, thank you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, we have to Backstage, the losers are unimpressed. Neha's made it through to the last round. Now the judges are about to announce their final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has arrived. Hold your breath. The name that will carry the tag of Femina Miss India 2002 Universe is... Contestant number 23, Neha from Delhi! Neha will be whisked off to represent the flower of India's womanhood across the world. With the crown come international modelling contracts and Bollywood producers beating a path to her door. I'm being ecstatic. I do not know what's happening. It's not Sunkin. Don't ask me this question right now. I'm just feeling ecstatic. I'm feeling on the top of the world right now. Meda is inconsolable. is much more pragmatic. It has not affected me even a bit. If you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. It's not also a big deal. Life, life goes on for me. Next year, there'll be another Miss India. Next year, there'll be another Miss India, you know? Now, who remembers four years back Miss India? You tell me. People are always looking forward to see another girl. The beauty machine has found its new queen. But already, the search to find her successor has begun. I ain't much at cooking and sewing, but my man is crazy for me. beat 78 other contestants to emerge winner of the Miss Universe pageant on May 13th in Cyprus. Miss Venezuela Claudia Moreno was first runner-up and Miss Spain Helen Linda's second runner-up. Phones kept on ringing at Lara Dutta's residence in southern Indian city of Bangalore as soon as the results were declared. Her sister Sabrina said she is being flooded by congratulatory phone calls from relatives and friends. On her sister's future plans, Sabrina said Lara wants to be a media person. She has uh, her plan. She's still young, so her plans tend to keep changing every now and then. But she uh, wants to pursue a degree in mass communication. She wants to get into media, and yeah, she's very keen to get into media. But she uh, she herself is quite aware that modeling is very short-lived, and that probably you know uh, every second day there's a new face on the scene. Prasad Bidaba, who has groomed Tata, was all praised for his student, describing her as an epitome of Indian women. Bidaba said he was always confident of her winning the crown. She epitomizes the Indian woman today, the confident new breed of Indian woman who has taken control of her life, who says, I will do things, I will achieve things. I am not just somebody's daughter, I am not just somebody's wife, I am not just somebody's mother. I am a woman in my own right. The news also cheered the people in the national capital. I feel very proud that uh, consecutively so many Indians have been crowned Miss World and now Miss Universe. It feels nice because actually they work quite hard for it. They go through a lot of training and it's nice to see another Indian do it, you know. I'm also very proud about it and definitely new doors will open up for, for other girls, modern girls. It just shows that girls can live up to everything. I mean, if they say something, they can really do it. You know, we, we should be very proud of it. 
I mean, it's not that the first time it has happened. So that becomes a part and parcel of the life now. We have to accept this and uh, we are second to none. That's only the message we, uh, we are also getting and we would like to give it to the rest of the world also. So do you think that would provide Yeah, if she also wants to go for I would definitely love to send her for the same. <laughs> India has so far won six beauty pageants. Lara is the second Indian to win the Miss Universe title at the Sushmita Sen in 1994. And now for news in brief. India's main opposition as the coming of age of Indian beauty. 18-year-old student Priyanka Chopra won the $100,000 prize in London's Millennium Dome, making it a double win for India after 21-year-old Lara Datta was crowned Miss Universe in Cyprus in May this year. In a record field of 95 women from around the planet, she beat Miss Italy and Miss Turkey to the coveted crown that will ensure her a year of instant fame. Soon after becoming Miss India earlier this year, Chopra said that Indian girls had an edge over their counterparts because India had perfected the art of preparing beauty queens. Excitement involved with the Miss India. She's considered exotic, beautiful and intelligent with a perfect balance. And that is certainly what makes us have an edge because a country with as rich a culture and, as, and the heritage that we have has got to go a long way and now that it's being recognized overall globally it is giving us the girls who are going for international contests an edge over everyone else stay tuned for more news coming up after the the new york times story reports strong and derisive comments by some leading indians in india and also comments on insinuations that the contest might even be fixed it goes on to say that the Miss World competition was held in London, but it was an Indian network that sponsored the show worldwide. Indian designers did the costumes. An Indian was among the judges. Indians made up a large portion of the live audience. Several commentators noted derisively that the Miss World pageant was now largely a third world event. The show was not televised in the United States, and it was carried only by a down market channel in Britain. The story says that India had become world's beauty pageant superpower, having swept the two major international beauty competitions twice in the last six years and Miss World Crown in 1994, 97, and 1999. Among negative and derisive comments was the banner headline in Indian Express which said, India breasts tape again in the world's great bimbo race, an example of sarcasm that has been rubbing shoulders with the usual adoration. Mr. Kushwan Singh, the big bosom and bottom lover, whose commentaries on women's sexuality made him famous, said that we Indians send out some bimbo and she returns with the prize and we act like we have conquered the world. So what do you think? Log on to namastetv.com and please give us your feedback. In our